Welcome to Part 8 of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! Peach is being held hostage by the x knots in their base! And it doesn't look like there's much for me to actually examine, so it's time for me to go in this room. While Princess Peach is held hostage, she can take a shower always. She doesn't really get into battles, but she does do uh, random things in every prelude. So this is like the first prelude There'll be a prelude from chapter 2 that she'll be doing things and so on and so on. Right now she's taking a shower, where she literally just took off her dress and is taking a shower. Now, one of two interpretations could be met. One, she's wearing a bathing suit and is taking a shower. Or two, she's wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Either way... <clears throat> Because she took a shower, well, oh, not just her hair has been, uh, pinned up. That's kind of a nice detail, at least. But that's not what I was about to say. As soon as you move a little bit further, this happens. And, of course, Princess Peach is baffled. And again, I would be, too. But here's something you all need to take note. In part 7, as soon as Princess Peach was in view of the security camera, it malfunctioned. You probably didn't catch that detail, but in case you haven't, just go back and check part 7. Like, near the end. But anyway, Peach is baffled because she thought that she was making the doors open when in fact... It happens to be the computer right here. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I'm right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am Tech, um, tech XX. May, many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be the perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Uh, that's the one thing about machines. They're never flawless. Regardless of how perfect people make them. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Tech is the computer that somehow, well, you're about to read it in just a few minutes, that somehow fell in love with Princess Peach. Now, let this sink in for a second. She... See, Tech was the one that was spying on Princess Peach. And when he did, he literally malfunctioned in Part 7. Not only that, but he also uh, happened to catch a glimpse of her in the shower. He is the ship's computer, let me remind you of that. So... Because of this, <clears throat> he literally fell in love with Princess Peach. And Princess Peach obviously don't know what to act, or how to act. So he wants to know exactly what it, what is love, and why is he falling in love. Okay, let me just get the joke out of the way. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. No, but seriously, Tech fell in love with Princess Peach, and now he's all of a sudden helping her. Well, he doesn't know about love, but he'll be helping her out in order for Princess Peach to actually teach him about love. Which is kind of an impossible thing to do, because there's one problem. Machines, well, some machines, not all of them, some machines don't have actual feelings and emotions programmed into them like talking about it. <clears throat> Tech is one said machine. Anyway, while Princess Peach is describing love and more along the lines of describing Mario, Tech is trying to at least understand that much. 
<clears throat> how, how should I put this? For the remaining, let's say, eight chapters, because we're in the prelude of chapter two. Not eight chapters, I mean seven, sorry. There's eight chapters in the game. For the remaining seven chapters, <clears throat> Tech will be basically aiding you in return for actually finding out what love really is. So, yeah. He'll actually do favors for knowledge. Yes, it's all about the knowledge. Uh huh. Yes. And of course, Princess Peach uh, is hesitant to teach him, and who wouldn't be? Because the owner of the computer literally kidnapped her from wherever she was standing and brought her here for some inconspicuous reason. Which you will find out as the game progress. But still! <clears throat> Princess Peach is basically hesitant to uh, help, but not that he's. Uh, but she's at least convinced. So now she's gonna send an email to Mario. Oh, by the way, this is kind of every single chapter afterwards. So. Get used to it. Well, except for the last one. Anyway. <clears throat> this... Well, at least it's got AOL, so that's pretty nifty of the x knots Still... It may only be a matter of time before Grotus catch on. Hopefully he doesn't. Not making any promises, though. Anyway... With that... <clears throat> no, I wouldn't say this is the first game that Peach is playable. Because in Paper Mario, she was playable. I just realized that. In Paper Mario, she was playable. However, uh, she didn't get into actual battles. She doesn't in this game, either. It's just that, well... This was the second time we actually played Peach in this game. However, what is an actual first is coming up right about now. And that is, for the first time, we get to actually view things from Bowser's perspective. Which is actually pretty enjoyable, to say the least. And of course, just having guys opening the door for you is awesome. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag. Why did you summon me? I think he beat her here. Uh, Great Lord Bowser. The uh, crusty old hag Cabby Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Yeah, now you get to control Bowser! Greetings, your huffiness. The hag Cabby Koopa will arrive any moment. Please, your gasliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at the photo of Princess Peach. You may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I'll tell you. Look on his face when he was moving on to... And then he just stopped. He's like, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying here to rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share! I'm not funny, sir! He's not funny, sir! Of course, with something like that, you don't want to mess with Bowser. <clears throat> I do believe they actually used that sprite in paper, in Super Paper Mario. You know, one where Bowser actually lights things on fire? That's one of his attacks in Super Paper Mario, so get used to it. Anyway... 
is the fact that, uh... You get to play as Bowser is pretty good. But there's also a Super Mario S, uh... Cutscene involving Bowser later on in the game, so get used to it. Anyway, there's Kami Koopa. And if you don't remember, these two got the crap beat out of them in Paper Mario. And now they're back for a second, uh, helping. Please, your grumpiness, don't be impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. <clears throat> It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum of, is off to Rogue Park. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Of course you don't. Until that is, he, until that is, Kami Koopa mentions why he's there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if Mario honestly wasn't doing anything, Bowser would be completely bored. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for amazing treasure. Treasure? Oh, now he's interested. Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there is no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? It doesn't matter what you choose. He's just gonna have a funny response. Uh, anyway. Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place at Petal called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone for a picnic and have some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of not sending you the invite. Airhead! A picnic, you morons! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans get derailed. Because you always goof off! Ugh. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down! Remember your blood pressure! Oh, and it's about to skyrocket, too. Especially when he hears this news. Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! Uh, what?! Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How, when, where, who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information yet. The, investigation, the investigation's on Gert. One thing is certainly clear, however. Princess Peach has been kidnapped, and now Bowser's officially pissed. I will not stand for this! I'm going to roll part now! I gotta kidnap her back! Oh, Jesus. This is just like I mean, Super Mario RPG. At least we know of Bowser's personality of him uh, being pissed the moment his castle is taken back. But here, his personality is just hilarious. The fact that Bowser just realized that he's a little bit late on the kidnapping gig. And then on top of it, uh, Mario's collecting crystal stars, so Bowser's got his work cut out for him. So yeah, you'll not only be playing as Princess Peach, but Bowser as well. And now, since we've got the star, we can head on back to the sewers. And of course, we're saying goodbye for the time being for Petalburg, because, trust me, we'll be coming back here. Trouble Center. J just letting you know, Trouble Center. Anyway... I wouldn't say Strong Cooper, I mean Koopa Coops, because your dad spent like 10 years in the belly of Hooktail. He's gotta take a shower at least, because it doesn't really smell right. Anyway, you can always come back and talk to them at least. But for the time being, let's go. 
And I do believe we're going to have to go back to that uh, pedestal. Yeah. Like I said, get used to going back to the pedestal. Because this game is notorious for backtracking. But there are a few things I want to get first before I leave. <clears throat> now then. I do actually... Uh, have something that needs to be done first, but before we do, let's go over here. This is where you find Mega Rush P, although I probably won't be needing it for the time being. In later battles, I'll probably use it. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. Nope. But there was something important that I sort of forgot on the way to, uh, Rogue Port, and unfortunately, not Rogue Port, um, Petalburg, that's what I was saying. And unfortunately, I may have to deal with it in part 10 because I recorded jumping to the second chapter without actually doing this. And that something important just so happens to be Sesti's contact lens. I'll deal with that before I finish up part, I mean, chapter 2. At least, so I can at least go on to chapter 3 without any problems. Oh, and there goes uh, Mario's uh, mailbox SP. Of course, uh, I had this when you were in my. No, wait, no, no, no. Actually, Goombella was in my party when she saw the mailbox SP. It's Koops that actually is dumbfounded by the new thing. But yes, Princess Peach just officially told Mario that she was kidnapped. Unfortunately, she didn't dodge. Which is the basics. I mean, seriously. Who falls for a shiny box? <clears throat> but yes, she's also warning the... Morning Mario about the x knots plan in Bogley Woods. And that's exactly where we're going to be going. But not right now, to say the least. There's one last thing we need to do beforehand. We're going to have to go back to the uh, Crystal Star uh, pedestal. And of course, that's going to take a little bit longer than expected, because it's going to bring us back to, um, Professor Frankly. Oh, and now that I have three Shine Sprites, I might as well put them to good use. So with that said, I'll be saying goodbye to Petal Meadows, because by this time, every single enemy in Petal Meadows have not only been tattled, well, not every single enemy, just those guys. They've been tattled on, and not only that, they're too weak to give me any sort of experience. So with that said, it's back through the sewers we go. Oh crap! Have I not learned my lesson? Okay. Come on. Come forward. There we go. This time I'm not gonna fall. And... Let's get away from all the other battles. There should be a badge where I could just eliminate most of these battles, but... Um, I probably won't be getting that until later. No, I meant, like... Give me ability to not only uh, get first strike, but also to destroy enemies I've already beaten. But I won't be getting that till later. And speaking of things I won't be getting till later, I won't be getting a new hammer until later, so yeah. Let's squeeze in sideways and show everybody what's here. Oh, I won't be able to get there either. Not without a certain partner, so let's go downstairs, shall we? Alright. <clears throat> we should be going this way. 
No, wait, where am I? No, 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 no. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Uh, the other way would lead me to Boggly Woods. This way would actually lead me to the uh, Thousand Year Door Pedestal. Now then, since we've got the new uh, sideways uh, ability, go sideways like this, jump on the spring. I said jump on the spring. There we go. And now we use the plane. It's amazing how the paper abilities can be so utilized in this game. Now then, jump on the spring again. And higher? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Nope, higher. There we go. Shine Sprite. Now then, I don't need to fly over there. I could at least use a pedestal. All right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. And once we do, the next location has been revealed. Ah, yes. The brilliant graphics of this game. I so love them. But now we've got our first star, we got our second ability, which is Earth Tremor. But not only that, as we already know, the next location of the star is in Boggly Woods. It even draws the location for us. Giggity! Now then, since we got this, we also learn Earth Tremor. So Earth Tremor basically is going to be useful for all those pesky ground enemies. No oh, wait, we already learned Earth Tremor, but yeah. <laughs> I'll probably demonstrate it also in part nine, so and probably fail at it too, or a warning. So now we have to take it to the professor to tell us where we need to go. That's the one thing I can actually hold against this game. The many backtrackings that we have to do in order to get to the next destination. It is justified because it's part of the story, but still. Hmm. Hmm. I see, I see. Crystal clear. He just made a pun, didn't he? Uh, so can you tell us what the next destination is? I mean, what next crystal star is or not? It's in the Bubbly Woods. The second crystal star is inside the great tree there. A great tree in the Bubbly Woods, huh? Yeah, the Bubbly Woods. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves me, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Franklin, you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Yeah. Let's show, tell him the shocker of the century. Mario got a, a email from her recently. Come on. Break the news, man. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting the Crystal Stars. Oh, and she says she doesn't even know where she's being held. Uh-oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers was also looking at the star, what could they achieve? Could the treasure be... Uh-oh, well, he's going a little bit... Past me's going a little bit too fast. But yes, that's... Basically, the X, X dots are also after the Crystal Stars we saw in Part 7. Of course, they also may have beaten us to the woods first. Nonetheless, we could come over here since we've got finished beating Hooktail, and these are tattle logs of most of the bosses that we face. And also, the actual spikes aren't there either, because they're actually common enemies. 
But anything that you can't really tattle, like the bosses, you have to tattle actually by yourself. Anyway, also we need to come here to Merlin because now we have uh, three Shine Sprites. And a partner that's going to be useful in this particular area is going to be Goombella. Trust me, she's definitely going to be useful. Shizubi? Shizubi! Disco Ball to the future! And with that, Goombella learns multi -bomb. Trust me, it's useful. At least for those annoying air enemies. And there'll be a lot of them in Bogley Woods, so I made the right choice. Anyway, we're basically done with this part. In the next episode, I thought I just saw Luigi. We'll see what he's up to, and at the same time, we'll also start off Bogley Woods in part 9. This is Man 985 see you guys next time.